Chloe, the Quasar MV. 214p. It's a huge three axis machine, but there's so many three axis machines on the market now. So, what's so special about this, let me not forget, X stock machine? Okay, so obviously, as you can see, we've got a huge plane in X that we can work in. A big plane is still in Y and a huge plane in Z. So, obviously, what that means is we can fit so much onto that table, we can get so many works done, probably up to five jobs at a time. Okay, so we can date and point, especially with the controls that we have, it's so easy to use. And let's touch on some of the features briefly on this machine. Um, what's the spindle speed? How many tools does it take? Swarf evacuation? OK, so you've got a 15k spindle on this one. At the moment on this one, we've got 120 tools in there that carousel around the magazine. And obviously, as you can see, we've got a swarf conveyor as well with augers that flush all the swarf down and straight into the swarf cupboard. Um, and the spindle, is it a maxia spindle? Maxia spindle it is. And you say 120 tools, so that can accommodate for multiple setups? Yeah, multiple setups. Also, you can have sister tooling in there, okay? So once you've used your tool as X amount of times, change it up. You don't have to, you can also have them at the same Z height, so that's, it's, it's standard. So you can just bring your new tools in, it's so easy to set up. So effectively what you're saying is, Chloe, you could do multiple setups on smaller components, but also if you wanted to and you had a very large component, you've also got that flexibility to do this also. Exactly, especially with the vices and things, they're interchangeable, so you can take them off, you can have a wide range of products on just one table, or you can have a really long product on the, on the singular table, so it's easy. Um, and all right, so we've got an accurate machine, we've got a large machine, but it's still only a free access machine with linear scales. What's so impressive about the programming language? OK, so the programming that we've got at the moment is Hyden on 640. It's a great, great, uh, it's a great software to use, OK? It's very user-friendly, very interactive, and you have to basically tell it the basics that it does the program, so it's great. So Hyden on's always been renowned for a top-class programming language. This is the latest version of the Hyden 9. What's changed? How has it evolved? OK, so we've got more cycles on there as well. We've got a better definition of the colours, the contrast, what we can do as well, we can have better block forms, better graphics, okay, you can show your tools and it's just more information with the with the climate that we're in, the engineering climate. So People have, uh, are now programming offline, doing a lot of their programming offline. Hide on is such a simple programming language to actually use, you know, can engineers, you know, if they're doing buying a free access machine, they can still do some programming you know, on the shop floor with such a program. Is, that, is this correct? Yeah, of course they can as well. You can download the Hyden on station from your laptop. So what you can do is you can interchange it. But with, the, with screens like this, you may as well just program it on the screen. It's, it's great to work with and the colours and stuff, you don't, it's brilliant. Awesome machine, X stock, here at ETG in Wellsboard. Someone could have this machine in, in at the facility next week. Exactly, grab it while it's here. <laughs>